the Detroit Lions players and coaches got a lot of national attention mm -hmm. from HBO's Hard Knocks. Well, now that the season has started, the national spotlight unfortunately is on the fans because it is for the wrong reasons. Fights like this one, getting coverage from the likes of Sports Illustrated and the New York Post. Now, fights at Lions games are not exactly a brand new phenomenon, but some feel they are getting more frequent and more severe. Sean Lay live with more on the bad behavior by some fans, which is frustrating many of the other fans, Sean. That's a good way of putting it. Talk to Philadelphia media today. They're talking about the fights that happened right outside of Ford Field as well. Detroit, uh, is, it's the talk of the town. We all know what happened here Sunday inside that almost victory by the Lions. They were close, but then the fights right here, right outside the front gates here, getting so much attention here, so violent, these fights kind of ramping up. We're talking to people, even a season ticket holder, he says he's had enough of the fights. He's turning his tickets in. A loss for the Lions inside Ford Field Sunday, outside sucker punches, beatdowns, and a black eye for Lions fans. A disgraceful display right outside the front gates. Multiple videos of fan violence going viral online after the game. Nick Stewart and his wife were at Sunday's game to enjoy the game. Oh yeah, I screamed the whole time, lost my voice. It was a fun time. But it's fan fights that has him coming up with his own game day game plan to avoid them and protect his wife. Society is pretty violent these days. We know fans fighting is nothing new. We're seeing more of them as people video them and post them to social media. We showed yesterday's fights to Bob Smith of Auburn Hills. Let's see if you can see this. Wow. No. Bob was a longtime Lion season ticket holder dating back to the Silverdome, but he turned his tickets in. Sick of the fights all around him. The last straw was when a woman was being beaten and he went to get security. Already, you know, but we got up and left and we just said we're never going back. It's ridiculous. Smith points out it's not all football fans. He says a fight broke out inside the Fox Theater recently at a Mannheim steamroller show. When you start seeing fights in a Mannheim Steamroller concert, there, there's a problem. Back here live downtown at Ford Field, there is a problem when people just lose it. Tempers flare, things of that nature, and alcohol gets involved. Hey, Tigers tonight, of course, things very, very calm right now. Not just fans and Lions fans, of course, but we're seeing this type of thing with road rage and that type of thing. Devin, talk to DPD today. They said there was a focus yesterday here on tailgating and kind of patrolling that to make sure it's safe. We're waiting to hear to see if there's a new focus now on when the game lets out and tempers run high. Back to you. Kimberly and I talk about it all the time, how much just bad behavior that we're following. But when the Philadelphia media is shocked by your fans' right. behavior. Philadelphia media. You are you are that's way right. out of line. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, all right, Sean. That's, that's saying something. Isn't that's it, correct. though? Boy.